Hello everybody, you found in Tunist. Welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's 2, to be honest with you. I'm now just getting ready to play this game. I had a chance to record right now, so I thought, eh, might as well. It's not too dark and scary out in the world right now, so hopefully it won't be too dark and scary right now. But, <laughs> alright, you guys know the drill, let's hit that new game button. I actually deleted my data before I did this, but hey, I wasn't that far anyway, I don't care. Help wanted grand reopening, vintage pizzeria given new life, come be a part of the new face of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? 150 a week to apply, call 1555-FAZ-FAZ-BEAR. I actually got a chance to read it that time. <laughs> what do you know about that? <laughs> if you're unfamiliar, last time when I played Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I actually wasn't able to read the whole newspaper thing before being cut off by it, uh, disappearing for no reason. So, uh... Let's just get right to this, shall we? Unfortunately, can't keep my left hand in my pants anymore. Which I didn't do before. I did not do that before. Uh, yeah, I, I totally didn't do that before. What are you talking about? What are you saying? Okay. Uh, but, because I, I need to keep my hand here. Oh. Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old locations, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, but I, I want to reassure you, Fatbury Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seemed to move around at night, and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that... The robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. Okay. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. Yeah. Anytime and leave it on that works. you want. Eventually anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm um, sorry about, uh, sorry about my silence there, but, you know, we gotta listen to the phone calls, because how else are you gonna get the beats? How else are you gonna get the details of the story of Five Nights at Freddy's? But, legit, I had to be quiet, because, you, you know, I gotta listen to the phone guy and whatnot. I mean, I have played this game before. I apologize, I'm not going through this game blind, either. Wait. Oh, I thought I heard something. I'm not going through this game blind, either. I have played Five Nights at Freddy's 2 already, as well. But, obviously, I have not played Five Nights at Freddy's 3. That game will be blind when I eventually play that. Alright, Bonnie's gone. That's not good. Where where did she wander? He- Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hi! 
<laughs> Hi, bunny. Hi, you beautiful bunny creature, you. Oh my god, you're not furry at all. You're a disgrace to bunnies everywhere. Although you gotta give her, you gotta give him credit. My, I keep forgetting it's a dude. You gotta give him credit because, like, at least he actually looks like a rabbit in this game. If it wasn't explained to you at some point by like somebody, you know, about talking about like Five Nights at Freddy's one, would you look at Bonnie in that game and assume she's like a rabbit? Oh god! Don't you go in that vent? Don't you do it? I'll tell mom on you. Mom will flip her shit at you. Believe you me. Right. As you can tell, this game works a lot differently than Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Uh, one thing is that there is no- Oh, hi, Freddy! What are you doing here already? One thing is that there is no longer- Oh! Shit! Oh my god, he was here early! Holy crap! Oh my god, do I actually have to focus now? I don't want to do that, it's night one! Oh my god, why is he here already? Oh my god, this is not good. He should not be here already. He comes in the room too, I gotta like put my mask on now? Oh my god. I was not expecting to be this focused. Like at the first night, it is 4am already, which is good because the phone call takes up like two hours. Okay, he's gone, he's gone, very good. Where's, where's Chica? Oh, Chica's going in the vents. 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 Didn't mean to put the mask down. Oh crap, it's been too long since I played this. I'm freaking out already. I forgot to mention, I meant to mention earlier in this episode that Five Nights at Freddy's not only is significantly scarier than Five Nights at Freddy's 1, it's significantly harder. Believe me, I have not gotten as far in this game as I have in Five Nights at Freddy's 1. I have beaten the week before, but I've never actually beaten Night 6. I have attempted to beat Night 6. I was never able to do it. So, yes, there is that. Is she in the vents already? Yes, yeah, she is. She is in the vents. Okay. Switch in the music box. Okay. I gotta focus because I really don't want to get... <sighs> Only like one animatronic is supposed to come now, please. I don't appreciate this. Oh, there you are. How'd you get over there so fast? Holy crap. Where'd your beak go? Did you take your beak off? So where did she put it? She's not wearing any clothes, so she didn't put it in her pockets or anything. Is it inside that cupcake? I wonder. I wonder if it's inside the cupcake. I'll have to eat it out. Which would be gross, they don't pay me enough to do this. Alright. Night one was, uh... Easy? It was easy. Ah, oh, God, I didn't even get a chance to explain anything about how this game works. There is a flashlight instead that you need to shine in order to see lots of things in the night, which is dark. And, uh, there is no power anymore. Power doesn't drain anymore. And you probably notice there are no doors. If an animatronic somehow gets in the room, I have to put on this Freddy Fazbear mask to trick them into thinking I'm an animatronic too. I don't really know how that works, but whatever. Uh, hello? Hello? Hi. Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. <laughs> uh, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Did I? Uh, those are from the previous location. There's Chica at the left. Parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, Too. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. 
I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking. Oh, I heard somebody say hello to me. I heard somebody say hello to me. Hello. My name's Natunist. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Alright, what is it? 1am already? Okay, very, very good. So I think I've explained the majority of how this game works. Also, you click Freddy's nose in this game? It still makes that noise. I don't know if there's going to be a poster in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. I don't know how Five Nights at Freddy's 3 is going to work. Supposedly, like, it takes place, like... Oh, it's the mangle. Supposedly, it takes place, like... 20 or 30 years later or something, and Freddy Fazbear's Pizza has been, like, completely abandoned by that point. So, I'm anxious to see that game. Also, it might be a little more entertaining to you than this, depending on your preference, because, uh, I am playing this game with a knowledge on how to play it, whereas Five Nights at Freddy's 3 will once again be blind. Somebody is going to the vents. Is somebody down the hall? Oh, yep, yep, there's Foxy. There's Foxy. Just gotta keep flashing him, just gotta keep showing him my wiener. And eventually he'll get so disturbed that he'll go away. I'm insulted that he's so disturbed by my penis, but at the same time, you know, uh... I'm grateful that it scares him, because now I'm not gonna die. Very, 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 very good. Whoa, crap! Oh! Oh, no! I don't know how that's gonna appear on capture. I just grabbed my window by accident and, like, dragged it by accident. Oh, crap. Ugh, I really hope that doesn't disturb the, uh, the quality of this video too much. God. Fortunately, when I drag Five Nights at Freddy's, uh, 2 as a window, which, again, I still have to play it in a window because my- it still messes up my webcam if I try to full screen this game. I don't know why. But it's not that big of a deal because there are no giant black bars in the way anymore, which is very, very nice. Oh, it's the mangle. Hi, mangly. Or, uh, spider fox, I believe some people have called you before. I don't know what I'm gonna call you. Probably just mangle. Oh, there's Foxy again. Just gotta keep flashing him. In order to get rid of Foxy in this game, you don't continuously watch him. You have to flash your flashlight at him repeatedly. Oh! Alright, she's gone. I gotta be honest. Out of all the animatronics, New Chica is one of the ones that scares me the most. It's just like, she takes off her face so she can bite you easier in the night and stuff. Ugh, it's awful, man. It's awful. <sighs> no one else is really being too much of a bother. I'm not really checking my maps too much, but the funny thing is that with this game, you really never need to do that. Kind of similar with Five Nights at Freddy's 1. You're going to notice that throughout the later ends of the week, strategy is going to be- Oh! You're not going to want to really check the camera too much. As a matter of fact, in the later nights... Hold up. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. I had to listen for him. You're going to notice that in the later nights, you're probably not even going to really be able to check your camera anymore. You'll see what I mean when we, uh, when we get to that. Alright, it's Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Trying to haunt my dreams. Trying to make me pee. Hi, what do you want? I don't have any money. If I did, what would he spend it on? Balloons, probably. <laughs> on free balloon day! Alright, uh, Freddy's poking his head out. Okay, somebody's in the vents. Oh, Bonnie's in the vents! Oh, crap! Okay, 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 Am I good? I think I'm good. Oh, I'm not good! Not good! Not good! Not good at all! Hi! <laughs> okay! Oh my god, that was bad! That was a double whammy! That was an earlier double whammy here on night two. Which I wasn't expecting. Just gotta keep 
flashing foxy can no longer flash foxy because my flashlight's not working right now i believe when your flashlight doesn't work when you shine it down the hall which occasionally does happen it just means like the background of it is like switching it means like a different animatronic is going to be in there or in this case like no animatronic because there isn't one in the back over there at 5 a.m though feeling pretty good flashlight kind of low still got things dangling from the ceiling up there like stars or something i wonder who hung those up all right i did it yay I don't know what the format is I'm going to do with this. I'm probably not going to be able to do two nights an episode anymore. Because night five, I might die. And night six is going to be difficult. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There's this thingy. All right. I like to be optimistic about this scene. This is like a first-person view of Freddy. I like to think of it as what, like, you know, my mom and dad told me. Like, before crossing the street. You got to look left. Look right. Look left again. Stranger danger. Uh... Okay, well, that has been Five Nights at Freddy's 2, episode 1, that is. Uh, tune in next time, which I'm going to try and tackle night 3, potentially night 4. Sub like and subscribe if you did, in fact, enjoy the video, and I will see you later.